Once upon a time, in a land called Beverly Hills, there lived a spoiled princess. It's the Nouveau. Who had it all. What? Don't worry, I have a case. Her carriage was a cherry red Mercedes. Every night she had a ball. Every day her daddy paid. Dad, please, I'm zeroed out. I gave you 200. Well, it's ancient history. I believe it was lunchtime. And then one day, fate stepped in. You're making a big mistake. See, I'm rich. And something extraordinary happened. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. As of five minutes ago, the old Jesse Montgomery ceased to exist. All right, look, it's a great joke. It's really funny. I've learned my lesson. Daddy! Some fairy godmother you are. I thought you guys were supposed to turn maids into princesses. Some princesses deserve to be maids. Now the spoiled princess from Beverly Hills is about to become... I did not spend six years in junior college to be a maid. The newest maid in Malibu. I kid it. Give her 24 hours tops. Who is this? That's the you made. What have you done to my wrinkled suit? Presta. I bought it wrinkled. It's a Giorgio Armano wrinkle. She used to have it made. You're the new maid. Not really. So I've heard. But now, she's made to order. Ali Sheedy, Valerie Perrine, Dick Sean, Beverly D'Angelo, Michael Onkeen, Tom Skerritt. Please. Made to order. Paul Tracy wants a career in politics, and he'll do whatever it takes. My daughter is a very troubled girl. She needs help. Yes, sir. I think you found your man. What's the deal? You're the guys my father hired to take me to prison. It's not a prison. It's a school, yeah, right? Yes, school, my. Robin has a gift for creating problems. Plug it up. Come on. Paul has a talent for handling them. I got her. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? And T.S. just likes to sit back and watch the fun. It's going to be a good trip. Fork right in between your big toe and your next toe. It's a very unusual way of eating. What started out as a serious job. Oh my God, you can't make me! Pretty dry here. Yeah, all lights are green. Just might turn into some serious fun. Sometimes, on the road to success, it's the detours that make the difference. Charlie Sheen, Harry Green, and Alan Ruck. Three for the road. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Wonderful audience. Terrific. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. What a crowd. What a crowd. Have a good time. Thanks. Well, sir, how was that? Well, Mr. Layton, Eddie. Yeah. I gave you a try, and I can say with all due respect and a certainty, you shit. Well, I'll be sure and pass that along to my mom in my next letter. <laughs> You're cute. Well, thank you, miss. You know, I'm going to include that in the letter, too, for balance. I want you out of here tonight, bringing me in a, a naked girl band. I saw up in Dalton, hey. call themselves the Nipple Airs. <laughs> They sound good. Oh, they good. And plenty. Now, if you just get yourself gone. Well, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> oh, this one farewell tune there. Hey. Yeah. I hate the sound. That's right. Mm. Now, I hate. The South. All you crackers, you annoy me. Much more now that you won't employ me. Oh, you got no class, so kiss my ass. Let's check it out. Nobody likes a halftime show better than me. I do. Except you. In their season's debut, here they come. The Marching Saints of Olmsted High School. A tradition in Georgia regional competition since 1956. That's when they won the regional marching band championship, which they held till 1973. This year, the Saints are under the direction of Mr. Armando Colon. <laughs> Uh, a 
marched into the bus, Monty. Just look at that. I am, and I can't say as I've quite seen nothing like it before. Uh. Thank you, thank you. That was our tribute to buses. Uh, the first in the series called Things That Are Hard, Things That Are Soft. Next time, thighs. Don't miss it. That's it. It's over. I quit! I believe he's the 11th leader they've had in 12 years. That's true, Monty. If you recall, Clarence Bowman lasted two years, 74 through 75, I believe. I visit him sometimes out to the home. I do too, Don. And usually on my way out there, I stop off at Maria and Tony's Pizza Center on I-5 for a slice of their pepperoni double sauce pizza. Damn, that's good eating. I've never tried the pepperoni double sauce. You really ought to. I've had the mushroom and peppers at that. It's enough to be. Trust me on the pepperoni. Okay, I'll give it a try. They need me. And the next time you pee in a crosswalk, Victor, it'll be the last time you pee. Hello. Beautiful day, isn't it? Well, not so far, it's not. You tell me who I'd see about the band director's job? That's a big mistake. You still got your health. It'll knot up your guts and bend you over permanently. Is it available? Yeah, it's available. Nobody wants it. I went by the band office whistling, and they offered it to me. Did you say the band office? Up there and to the right. You can't miss it. And, and as for Elmo de Lavalard, he's in today. And God bless you. Thank you. He seems so smart. Yeah, so you, uh, what you thought was that you were just going to come on in here and I was going to hand you over that band director job. Well, that was my thought. At least that was my hope. <laughs> well, you know, we ought to share a real hearty laugh on that one. <laughs> you ought to laugh more. It's good for your innards. Well, I'll keep that in mind, sir. And overall physical fitness. Mm-hmm. Do you notice that spring in my step? No way to miss it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know uh, who's responsible for winning all these rewards in here? Uh, well, no, I don't believe I do, sir. Well, it's the Olmstead High School Marching Band done that. Mm -hmm. And do you know who led them to glory? You? No. That man right there. My dear old departed daddy right up there. Elmo de Lavalard Sr. At one time, there was nobody on God's green earth on this big, round, lush planet of ours. Nobody was as good as him at marching band leading. Except maybe... Maybe them uh, Belgian people. What the hell was their names? Uh, Grotners. Gro Grovner, Gripner, G Gerhard Gra G Gottfried Groove. Do you know who I'm talking about? No, I don't believe I do, sir. Well, you don't know a hell of a lot about your marching band history, do you? Guess not. But you did think you was just going to come on in here and I was going to hand you over that baton, huh? Well, it didn't seem like such a crazy idea at the time. I'm a musician. I like kids, and I can teach. Do you realize that I'm getting applications from all over the United States and parts of Asia? All right. Maybe I made a mistake. Sorry I wasted your time. Nice meeting you. Well, wait a minute here now. That, that, that name of yours, Leighton, Leighton. Little toot whistle goes off inside my brain every time I hear it. Mm, that must be painful. Yeah. Uh, are you related to the Czechoslovakian Leightons at Marching Fife and Drum Band? No, my people uh, come originally from Norway. They had a fife and drum corps there at Czechoslovakia. Leighton, I believe was that. I mean, you know what? They had a drummer there. His name was Hans. I looked a lot like you. Hans, Hans. You know, I believe he was my uncle. There you have it. That's it. A hunch in your blood. Yeah. Sit down there. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Now, what kind of instruments do you play? Oh, I play a lot of them. I can play piano, bass, drums, guitar, yeah, accordion. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. You play tuba? No. Hmm. You play any wind instruments? Harmonica. It's the same damn thing. I 
was that? You were damn fine. You're a natural, you know that? Sure are. Just don't let your glissando creep up into a pizzicato. Why, was I doing that? You done it a little bit, a hell of it there. Oh, it won't happen again. All right. Mm. You know, uh, I sure do like your attitude, Leighton. Well, thank you. Sure do. Yeah. It's a damn pity that there's so many top flight band leaders wanting this here job. Would you consider taking a job in the band, like maybe third sousaphone mm -hmm. or something? No, I can't do that. No way to do that? Mm, no, I can't. Okay, well, let's go again here. Let's do B flat, A, G, and F. Okay. M M Mr. Line Lodak, could I have a moment, sir? Woods, how many times have I told you not to interrupt me when I'm blowing on something? I know that, sir, but he said yes. He said yes. Excuse me a minute, Eddie. What in the hell are you babbling about? I'm babbling about Mr. Cologne, sir. He agreed not to file charges against us. Don't go talking that stuff around strangers. Uh, sorry, sir, but, but they've made him the new band director at Hamilton High. Well, that little flamenco faggot. He, he's fired. That fired him. He, he's fired, you hear me? He's fired, I hear. But now we have to get someone to agree to take over our band. Yeah, uh, well, look, uh, before you go, I, I just want to introduce you to somebody. Eddie, could you come over here for just one minute? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. This here is Eddie Layton of the Czechoslovakian Fife and Drum Laytons. Eddie, this here is Earl Wuss. He's our school principal. Pleased to meet. Same here. Eddie here is uh, the new leader of the band. Well, my Uncle Hans will really be proud. Yeah. Well, I hope he's in heaven, because that's where I am right now. Well, I'm, I'm happy. Yes, indeed. Yes. Won't you make me proud now, boy? I'll try, sir. He has a certain charm. Yes, he does. And as chairman of the school board and president of the band boosters, he has quite a bit of power. But make no mistake about it, Lake. Olmstead is my baby. I run this school. Yeah, I could sense that. Miss Cooper, this is Mr. Layton. Miss Cooper teaches French. Oh, uh, comment allez-vous? Très bien, merci, monsieur. Et pour quelle raison, si je peux vous demander de vous ici aujourd'hui? Yeah. Well, all I can say is, comment allez-vous? Well, maybe I can give you some French lessons sometimes. Mr. Layton is our new band director. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll see you then. Good luck. Well, thank you. That's one month's rent in advance. Okay. So, uh, when are you going over there to Olmsted? Uh, right away, tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Uh, what are you going to teach over there? I'm the new leader of the marching band. That's nice. That's good. That's two months' rent in advance. Okay. Poor bastard. Now let me hear it, all right? Big finish. Da -da -da. Ta 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 da ta 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 All right, now piccolos, all right? Next time, I want you to put some feeling into it, you hear me? Okay. Get down off the ceiling, take five, all right? Does it? All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy. Okay. 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 All right. You all right? Now, what kind of a moron would do something like that, huh? Would you accept my apology for the human race? I was born in New York City, raised in New Orleans, played a lot of gigs in Europe, then I moved on back to Queens. I'm a wandering boy. 
Yeah, I'm a long, long way from my home. If I ever get back to the city, I'm gonna take the civil service test and never wander no more. Oh! Uh, that last part wasn't true. I'm a long, long way from home. I'm looking for something, but I don't know what that is. Hello. Well, you're able to speak and to use your limbs. That's a good sign. It's my first day. I haven't started yet. Oh, never mind. You're handling it very well. Hey, get away from those flowers. I'll break your arm. Boy, you're strict. Wait. After an extensive talent search and at great expense to the high school, we have found and brought here to Olmstead one of the finest band people Czechoslovakia has to offer. Now, it is my sincere hope that you will show him the respect that we like to show people of foreign extraction. And if you don't, uh, you'll end up like Dupree. Old Bobby is on permanent cleanup duty for marching you into the bus and talking dirty on regional TV. But here he is. He's a New Yorker now, so he's seen it all. Let's welcome Mr. Layton. Thank you. Uh, how you doing? I'm Eddie Layton. I won't keep you long. I saw you guys on TV, and I gotta admit, I thought it was funny to see a band march into a bus. That was very funny, very funny sight. But when I am the leader of the band, it's not a funny sight, it's very unfunny. You will not walk into a bus on me for two reasons. One is because I will not allow a band to walk into a bus on me, and two is because there is no band. There is no band, but if you want to be in a band, Tryouts will be posted on the bulletin board at the main entrance. Now, we're going to make a new band, and we're going to have a good time doing it. But we're going to work hard. So if you don't want to work hard, don't come back. Now, I see this has made a lot of you unhappy. Well, you shouldn't be, because someday soon there's going to be a great band here. But this here is not a great band. So like we say in New York, Disband must disband. So I said, it's over. No band, no more. We start fresh. Well, what choice did I have? They're totally unmotivated. They don't care. You know, you don't seem too concerned about this either. Why should you be? You had a full day, ate most of the chair, and this is not my chair. It's a rental. Are you familiar with the concept of a rental? Concerto. Cats Basie's Jive. Oh. Go check out Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. Oh. Mm. Oh. Then I'm going to show you how there's a relation between Mr. Mozart and the Jackson Sensation. Oh. You're going to have this insane revelation that will be next time in music. Appreciation 101. Ah! You're beautiful and you're dismissed. Go on. Get that fighting spirit. Don't forget, band tryouts, 315. That's in 15 minutes. Keep that sense of excitement and joy. Yes, of course. Well, first day of school, did you learn anything? Huh, Schnupsy? Come in. Come on, tell you yourself. How you doing? Not bad. Good. Welcome to Olmsted. I'm happy to be here. They're talking about you out in the hall. Really? What are they saying? They're saying that the new music teacher talks in strange voices. Well, I'll be downed. I don't know why they think that I'm strange. I don't do. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> why do you do that? Uh, who knows? I don't know. You want to know? 
Well, when I was a kid, I used to make the big kids laugh, mainly to keep from being knocked unconscious on a regular basis. I can't imagine anybody wanting to hit you. Well, that's what I kept saying, but I spent most of my childhood unconscious. Oh, dear. Yeah. Must be great to be conscious now. Oh, much better, yes. <laughs> Is that your dog? Yeah, and he's a nice fella, too. I love a man who loves a dog. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, no. Do you? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I don't know. You mean like that? Yeah, no. just like that. No, I don't believe that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I, uh, I have, I have, uh, band trials. Why don't you give me a tryout? Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah. I, th I think I am. Well, you know, this is really the, uh, the warmest welcome I've ever received anywhere. But I have to go because uh, I have the, uh, the band. I have. So we're having tryouts now because, uh, you know, the band. There's no band. I mean, we got to have a new band because that's why, you know, I'm, he I'm here for the band. So, uh, so I'm, I'm so I'm consumed by the band. So we probably won't. I don't know when I'll see you, but, uh, you know, whenever I see you, you know. Good for you, Allison Levine. Now, what makes you say that? Can you tell me about it? Yeah. The other kids said that if I came to tryouts, they would beat the living shit out of me. But you came anyway. Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, I heard the other kids talking, and they said that I'm just a lousy accordionist. So I came anyway. <laughs> Nobody talks like that to Allison Levine. Well, I like your attitude. Uh, any of the other kids want to be in the band? I don't know. Well, okay. You ready for your tryout? Yeah. Okay. I love music, and I want to be in the band. I didn't make it last time. But I should make it this time. Well, your chances are tremendous. Go ahead, play something. <laughs> Some horn, huh? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's great. Go ahead, play some. I didn't know how to play that tune. That's all right. Fake it. Go ahead. You got a, uh, quality, the both of you. I was just getting warmed up. Yeah, I can it's tell. the longest I've ever played. Well, that's good. It'll build up your arms. So did I make it? What about me? Uh, <clears throat> welcome to the band. Uh-oh. There's Bobby. Uh-oh. You know what? Nobody in this band. So if I guess right, he plenty bugged. Well, you two should be very proud of yourselves. You're the first two members of the new Olmstead High School Marching Band. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Bobby for a minute. Guess not. Well, let's go home, okay?
request the pleasure of your company. neighborhood, sir. Well, thank you very much. You like it, do you? Well, yes, sir. It's uh, got what everything I need. It's uh, convenient to shopping. Uh-huh. Short walk to the subway. Oh, yeah. Well, my daddy, in his infinite wisdom, decided to will this to me. I think I wear it very well. Yes, sir. I was just fixing to start my exercise regimen. Care to join me? Sure. Ready? Hello. About heading up. Exercise? Yeah. Plenty. Clarence, whiskey! Come over here and have a seat. You know, we ought to exercise like this more often. Yeah, you got to have your exercise. You got to have it. Mm. <clears throat> you know, Eddie, I was just looking at schedule. Seems to me you're going to have plenty of time to put together the Banflat Larchmont game. Uh, sir. Eddie, you know, Larchmont, they're our traditional rivals. And I'll tell you something, I hate those folks with all my heart, both of my lungs. But I'll tell you one thing about them, though, they sometimes they play so fine that it'll actually take your breath away. Yes, sir. I, uh, I, I, I... Eddie, those Larchmont Trojans, if there's any, anybody on the face of this green earth that needs their butt whooped, it's them. But they are marching fools. Thank you, Clarence. Uh, Mr. Delavillard, you see, the problem... Eddie, I don't want you to worry about anything. Care for a drink? Yes, sir. Don't you worry about a damn thing right now. We're going to sit here, have ourselves a little cocktail. Eddie, the only thing I want to impress on you is when, is when uh, you get out there, I just want to hear you play the Saints so damn good that every man, woman, child, dog, cat, chicken, fly, bee, anything that's alive in that stadium is going to have the spine on fire, tingling. That's all I want. Now, here's to the band. To the band. Mr. DeLavillard. Call me Elmo. Elmo. What? There is no band. There's no band. I, uh, I want to start fresh, and so I held tryouts, and, uh, well, only two kids showed up. <clears throat> you mean to sit there and tell me that you have lost a band? Ain't nobody ever done anything like that before. Where the hell is it? I'll go find it. Looking for me? Yeah, I am. Her love. Look, I gotta go. All right. Let's go. So how do you get to be drum major? You want to help me out here? Yeah, sure. See, the man picks a drum major. Yeah. I feel he made a fine choice. I get results. Was Armando Cologne one of your results? <laughs> Armando was insane, man. I mean, he was gone. Yeah, but was he gone when he arrived? Well, uh, let's just say he was on his way when he arrived. All right, what about the guy before him? Uh oh, I don't know anything about him. See, uh, Armando was my first. Yeah, you know what? There, there seems to be a tradition here. The Saints seem to have a way of destroying their leaders. Mm. I don't know anything about tradition. Hey, don't put down what you don't know. It's been around a while. You miss it? The band? No. No, I don't miss the band. That's because uh, there is no band to miss. Yeah, but there's going to be a band. No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, I do. Let me tell you something. The band will not play without me. They just won't go without me. All right, maybe I can fix that. Well, uh, 
How you gonna get past Mr. Wuss? He's uh, real down on me. I'll talk to him. You good if you did. I'd really like to see the band get back together. No, sir, I will not have you coming in here and telling me how to run my school, sir. I am not telling you how to run your school. Is this turkey salad? Does this look like turkey salad to you? I believe it is. It has a turkey salad look to it, yes. It is. It's good, too. Thank you. You're welcome. No, sir, I will not have you coming in here telling me how to run my school, sir. I am not telling you how to run your school. I'm asking you to give him another chance. Out, and that is the final word. Mr. Layton, you, you made your band. Now, you lie in it. Is that clear? Well, then I guess I'm going to have to speak to Mr. DeLavalor. You go right ahead and do that. Is this it? Is this the best they can do? Well, it's the best I've ever heard them play. You know, they're really trying. This is the top. Take over. This is their best. This is great. Just hear the saxophones. Just the saxes. How old are you? I'll be twenty one in April. Well, that's not your normal high school age, is it? I'm in my seventh year. How is that possible? The new math. Uh-huh. What's your name? Brian. <clears throat> you got a last name, Brian? DeLavillard. Oh. He's my uncle. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been playing the sax, Brian? Fifteen years. There's room for improvement, you know that. I think I'm at my peak. But hey, I really love the band. I want to be in the band. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to keep you, Brian, because you love the band and because your uncle hired me. The last one's the big reason, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. But I'm going to see to it that you get sax lessons. They've tried. This is it. I'm going to try again, Brian. OK? Bobby, let me hear the trombones. All right, just the T-bones. You're not playing at all. No, no, I'm playing. No, no, I don't Real think low. so. No, no, no. I am, really. Come here, I want to talk to you. Me play something. What are you doing here? I'm in the band. You know, you haven't given me a straight answer yet. What's your name? Conrad Zook. Conrad, why are you in the band? You can't play your instrument. Well, I... I want an honest answer, Conrad. I'm here for the sex. Well, this I believe. You see, this band, this band is nothing without me. Yeah, I don't believe that. It's true, though. I got spirit more than anybody else in this band. And I love everyone in this band. Some physically. Conrad, I'm going to keep you. Because you're abnormal. And I like that. But I'm going to make you a bass drummer so you can be of some use around here. Now get back in line.
Bobby, just the sousaphones. Big bad sousaphones. Hit it. You boys are not playing the same song as the rest of the band. You know that. He made me. You made me. Did not. Did so. Who are you? We're the Dukin twins, Tyrell and Tyrone. He's Tyrell. And he's Tyrell. All right, all right, we're going to sort this out later. But if you two don't play the same song as the rest of the band, you're out of the band, OK? I'm Nita Charles. Oh, yeah, I was listening to you before. You're good. Well, I am good. But I can't be if he keeps poking me in the butt with his trombone. Oh, yeah, he's a problem. But we're going to make him a drummer. Oh, OK. OK? Hi there. I'm Mark Morello, your twirler. How you doing? I'll twirl anything. I'll play anything. Hey, not bad. Welcome to the band. Mad dog! 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 All right, all right, listen. We got a lot of work to do. We got a big game coming up against Large Mod. Large Mod! Large I was just going to band Hello. practice. You want to join me? I would love to join you. Is, is there a problem? Is no. there something wrong? No. So what's going on? Um, Eddie. <clears throat> I am not in the habit of, shall we say, throwing myself at men. And I threw myself at you, and you didn't even stick out your mitt. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh... I love you. I love you. <laughs> Je vous aime, vous comprenez? I loved you from the first minute I laid eyes on you. Really? Thank you, that's very nice. No, no, no. I don't want thank you. I don't want nice. I want you. Yeah, but, uh, it's not, um... Shh, girls, are you? Listen, uh, what I... Oh, hey, Conrad. Hi, there you are. Yeah, hi. There he is. Uh, we were looking all over for you. Okay. Uh, you know Patty and Annie from the flute section. Sure, yeah, yeah how are you? Hi. Hi, Miss Cooper. Yeah, well, uh, we were looking all over for you because um, mm. we didn't know if there was band rehearsal today or not. Uh -huh. It's yeah. Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, but we thought it might be canceled or something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, we got to go, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See you later. Bye. See you this yeah. afternoon. See you, Miss Cooper. Uh, uh, where were we? We were at I Love You. Oh, yeah. Listen, I, um... Is there somebody else? No. Well, yes. Well, she's a very lucky woman. No, she's not a woman. She's a very lucky man? No, she's not a man. She was a... Uh, in love? Uh, I'm, it's over. I was in love. It's, it's not, I'm not in love now, but it's kind of, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's a yearning, you know what I mean? I can it's relate. Big, yeah? I can relate. When I was a little girl, I used to have this dream that one day I would meet a man with warm, loving eyes. Somebody I could talk to, you know, somebody I could have a laugh with. Somebody who would just make me feel alive. You're him. You know, this is very flattering. And I admire your directness, but... I don't want flattering. I don't want directness. I want you. And I can wait. Hmm. This is a very active little campus. Nice campus, isn't it? How you doing?
Hey, when we're gonna march? We gotta march, too, right? Well, first we're gonna do the music, then we'll march. I have my methods. We'll get to it. Well, if you saw those Larchmont kids march, you'd get right to it. Now! <laughs> Just having a good day. Move on. Instruments. your heads screwed on straight. If you don't, heads will roll. Now have a nice day. All right, we only have a couple of days, and I think if we try to spell Olmstead out on the field, the game will be over before we finish. Now, I know that Larchmont is a great... Larchmont! Larchmont! Larchmont sucks! All right. All right, good. We know that. Larchmont sucks. That's an established fact, right? All right, can we get on with this? Thank you. Now, we're the visiting team, so we do the short program. I say we march on doing the Saints, make an O for Olmstead, do the fight song, and march off with the Saints. What do you say? Yeah! That O sounds kind of tough. We can do it. One, two, one, two, go! You want to make it all you got to think of. Think below. All right, get that curve working. All right, there you go. You got something now. All right. But that's not an O. That's a six. But a six is close. So let's get it. You can. I feel it now. You can. You can. I know you can. It's a hole. It's a loop. It's an ice cream. Wait a minute. That's close. That's an, but that's an A. Come on, we squish down the top. All right, that's the bottom. That's you gotta squish down the top. The top. The top is the one up top. The higher part. Get the higher part down and the bridge. You're gonna. That's it. You're getting it now. You got it. You got it. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh. Grab something, sir. Yeah, and Barbara, you cannot uh, underestimate the value of physical exercise for the human body. No, sir, you cannot. And I'll tell you something. You, if you do, you're a moron. That's absolutely right. Yeah. This is, there's no That's absolutely way. right. You gotta exercise. Layton, you got the... You've been working awful hard, I know that. Yes, sir. Got the band all ready and everything? For tomorrow? Yeah. For large month? We're ready, sir. Kids working. That's all I need to know is to drink to that. We're gonna go get him, sir. Uh oh. Some thief in here. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna pour me a little dollop. Would you like to have a little well, taste? Well, if it's here. What, sir? There's plenty more where that come to, too. It's a fine drink. Hmm. Did you pour some on my other hand, too, sir? I'm oh, sorry, Lee. <laughs> I didn't do that. I cut it all That's all, all right. Over. No, it's a fine drink, sir. <laughs> Yeah, you want pants on that. That's a wonderful design. Not too many times I'll kick the lung out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shitting you. Yeah, I know that. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, Layton, mm. I ain't no damn fool. I don't know if you know that or not. I, no, sir, you're no damn fool. I'm... And you ain't no Czechoslovakian either, are you? In no way, sir. Not even a little bit. No, not a little bit. All right. I've seen a few of them, but... Yeah, there's some around these parts. I know that. Something about you, though. There's something about you uh, from the past or some damn, damn thing like that. It's like I... Like what, I what is it? Well, it's like I knew you in another life or something. It's, really? uh, no, it's, it's odd. It's uncanny. It is. It's be, uh, special, though. If I mentioned Robert E. Lee in the Battle of Shiloh, would that blow off a toot whistle inside your head? Not too loudly, sir, no. Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly what it is. The Battle of Shiloh, you and I were very, very close friends then back in those days. Really? Yes, sir. We suffered the war. We were hard men and used to rough ways. Oh. But we loved music. And you had a drum and I had a fife. And we was marching with Robert E. Lee Marching Band. And we marched right into the Battle of Shiloh. I'll never forget that cold November day. And the, the smoke was just a blue ribbon out there covering that battlefield. And then the chaos and the fighting and the tumult and the shouting down there and the people screaming and yelling all names of Yankees everywhere. And we just high-stepped right through the fray. And the bullets was flying so thick and fast that you, you could just reach out and grab yourself one. Oh. It's like little grapes or something. Nice. And we just kept high-stepping through that battlefield like that. And you said, look up there. And there was a big hill up there away from the battle. And you said, are you feeling peckish? And I said, yes, indeed I am. So we got up there and high-stepped all the way to the top of the hill, and the bullets just kept flying, and we kept playing and kept going. Nothing was going to get in our way, and the angels parted the skies, and the clouds went away, and there was the brilliant sunlight up there. We got up there, ripped off a shirt. You sewed them together. We made a blanket. We got the, all the food. We got some gefilte fish on there. We got some of that, some, some wine, some kind of damn crazy-ass wine, man. And we laid down there <coughs> and ate our field. It was glorious. Oh. Mercy. You know what? It's all coming back to me now. And I called you Curly. And I called you Lil Willie. <laughs> <laughs> May a raccoon have my rectum if that ain't right. I'd like to see that, sir. <laughs> Big Willie. That's what it I was. I called you Big, Big Willie. Willie. It's good to see you. Good Big to Willie. see you again. We Eddie. should be in touch more. And here comes the band. Odds on favorites to win the district competition next month. Let's greet them now, the marvelous Larchmont High School marching band, the Larchmont Trojans.
pep talk. I hate to waste it. No, I'm okay. I don't need one. Okay. themselves a marching band? Ha! Ah. Yeah, they're chumps. Hey, Arlen, you up for the game or what? Arlen, brush your tongue. Curly. You ain't seen nothing yet, Big Willie. All right. My God. And now, let's, let's hear it for the Marching, marching Saints, Saints of Olmstead High, High School. School. The fact that duly enrolled Olmsted students showed their behinds to a vast television audience, the fact that there have been serious disciplinary problems with the band in the past years, 
and the fact that we have received an enormous negative response to the band from our alumni leaves this board with no choice but to terminate the band program at Olmstead and to demand Mr. Layton's resignation. Mr. Layton. Uh, I take full responsibility for the band's actions. You have my resignation. What's wrong here? My key won't go into my door. This is not your door. It's not your apartment. What do you mean? Well, you've turned a show place into a no place for you and your mutt. Look, I'm I don't want any excuses. I just don't want your kind in here. My kind? What do you mean, my kind? Yeah, the kind that thinks Moon River is a fight song. I want you out now, both of you. Now. Your history. Not now. Oh, yes, now. Now? Now. Hello, Eddie. Hey. Mm, you look like hell. It's about right. I slept in the park. Ah, that's crazy. You could have slept with me, stayed with me, stayed with me. You know, you've been very nice to me. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of good it's done me. <laughs> see, I see you're sexier when you're in a weakened condition. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they fired you. I thought you were an excellent addition to the faculty. Yeah? Nobody ever said that to me before. Thanks. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? I'm going to the St. Francis Hotel on Peachtree Street. Ah, oh, no, no. I'm not going to... What are you going down there for? It's okay to know me there. Yeah, I just want to play. I'll take anything. No, you don't understand. It doesn't matter what. I'll play feeding time at the zoo. I don't care. Piano, bass, drums. Yeah. Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you got anything going? You got a plan? Oh, yeah. I got me a plan. I want to sit right here for six or seven weeks. Then I'm gonna get up and sit over there five weeks. Sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll join you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Because it ain't no one man job. Yeah. you play it. Hey, man, we blew it. Uh, let's just say I blew it. We all blew it and we're sorry. We're all real sorry. All right, count me in. Hey, I think it was real unfair you were uh, relieved of your post because you didn't do nothing. I mean, you didn't even moon nobody. I wish you had. Me too. Why not? They fired me anyway. We want to start again, Van Boss. We want another shot. We want to go to the district competition and kick some ass. Yeah! All right, I like that, but the school's not behind us. We don't have uniforms. 
We don't have instruments. It's gonna take money. Hey! That's enough of this bullshit. Let's hear that band play something. Yeah! All right. All right, you heard the man. Hit it! Mr. Delavalard has taken to his bed. Will you follow me, please? Curly, is that you? Yeah, Big Willie. How you doing? All right. Do you want me to turn the lights on? No, 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 no. And just find the way they are. Are you all right? I'm damn fine. Been trying to get hold of you, but uh, things kept coming up. <laughs> Are we alone? Uh, not exactly. I got uh, two, maybe, maybe three women in here with me. They sound nice. Oh, they're all nice. Damn nice. They're an entire sales staff from Jensen's Flower Mart over there, where I do my shopping. Mm -hmm. Brought them over here on some kind of field trip. <laughs> What can I help you with, Eddie? Well, the band wants another shot, Big Willie. Well, we'll discuss that. That's out. They want to do it outside the school. Well, pluck my balls clean. Those little rascals, you knock them down, they get right back up, don't they? They're all fired up. Well, that's fine. That's fine. They want your help. Well, that's fine, too. But they need to learn how to help themselves. Now, if they learn how to make their own money, then uh, by God, I might help them. But uh, I've had money thrown at me all my life, and look what it got me. Ain't that right, girl? They'll sleep. Yeah, if those little maniacs want to get out there and earn that money themselves, that'll be damn fine because that's the American way. Well, should I give the fundraising reports now? Yes. Lint collection, $25.50. Fruit sales, $10. Car wash, $47.70. And the Rockathon came to $13 with a total of $93.50. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. You know, you people, uh, the strangest bunch of people I believe I've ever met, the reason I know this is because uh, we send you out during halftime and you wind up showing most of the South your butts. Then uh, send you out to make dollars and you come back with dimes. But I gotta admit though, it, uh, it's odd, but it has a certain appeal for me. Mostly because I guess, uh, well, it reminds me of me. <laughs> now I have a reputation in this part of the country of uh, spending money very freely. And uh, I guess I do, but I also spend it very well. And I've decided to uh, spend some money on y'all. Right. Thanks. I'm getting us new instruments and sending in the entry fee for the district competition. Thank you. 
This is a letter from the district. He returned our entry fee. Our application has been rejected. Well, why is that? We are a high school marching band competition, and in that this band is no longer associated with Olmsted High School, we find the Saints ineligible. All right, I'll tell you what it is. It's Armando Colon and a technicality. Armando said that technically we weren't a high school marching band. All we was was a pack of moonas. So what the hell do you think the school district did on that? They dropped us on a technicality. No high school, no band. And I know for a fact that we were in that competition. Because I, I got spies to tell me all that stuff. Okay. You heard him. Come on, what are we going to do, roll over and play dead? Well... What are we going to do about it? Yeah, but this time they got us by the short hair. Oh, come on, Connor. So what? Has that ever stopped you before? Come on. I'll, what have we been blowing for weeks? We've been blowing our brains out for weeks. Are we going to let Armando Cologne blow us out? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, we're not going to. All right. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I heard that somewhere once. Damn right. Everybody's going to hear it. Everybody in that stadium, everybody at that competition is going to... Now's the time for pride. Now's the time to say we're coming through. Nita, are you going to blow that clarinet right up to the moon? I'm going to give it my best shot. Bobby, drum major man, are you going to strut and stride like nobody ever has? All right. All right. Allison Levine, are you going to squeeze that accordion until the sun don't shine? You betcha, band boss. Benny and the bagpipes. Yes, sir. Benny, are you going to kill us with those bagpipes? Just call me McTavish. Dugan boys, are you with us? Yes. Good. Mad Dog, are you going to eat everything in that stadium alive? Hell yeah. All right. Brian, tell us. I took my math final today. I got a B. If I can do that, I can do anything. All right, you hear that? All right, now's the time for spirit. Have we got the spirit? Yeah! That's half the battle. Well, what's the other half? How we get us into the competition. Can I help? Well, you got a high school on you? 
One that needs a band? We've already been over that, Leighton. Olmstead's out. Every other high school in town has a marching band. Roosevelt? Teddy or Franklin D? Miss Cooper, you might very well be a genius. Leighton, you take care of the music and I'll take care of Cologne. Miss Cooper, you and I have a couple of things that we need to talk about.
marching band competition. Wrong! Wrong? Keep your seats, ladies and gentlemen, keep your seats. Fasten your seatbelts, hold on to your hats. You are about to witness a modern day miracle, a rebirth, a reincarnation. Before your very eyes and ears, the old state saints come marching in. Look at that. on the proud spirit of the finest young people to ever strut down the sidelines. I guess they did. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, do you recall that 10 years ago, there was a proud, honorary, feisty little high school in our city named Roosevelt. Spirit? It had spirit to burn, but it was small. Any bitty. Too any bitty to live, said the powers that be. Too small to deserve a student body. And the powers that be took a look at little old Roosevelt and said, gobble them up. Listen up, George. Merge him with big old Olmstead. And the powers that be in their haste to devour and destroy. Sing it, brother. Pay no attention to the original school charter of Roosevelt High. Amen. I hear you. They didn't think it was important enough to fuss over. Yes, yes, yes. They couldn't find the time to get rid of that little bitty old school charter. No! You're making my hair stand on end. Well, glory be. Glory be, according to the law of the sovereign state of Georgia, Roosevelt High still exists. Sing it, sing it, brother. Separate but equal. A double miracle. All right, brother. Hold what shall on. not be shall be what was is. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the fact Foot-stopping, butt-kicking, resurrection Amen. of the Roosevelt High School marching band!